G'day, I'm Zachy D, and today I'm going to show you how to make soft plastic squids. Okay, let's go. So far, I've already made two squids. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. 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 And these would be good for snapper. Yeah. And other fish like that. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Anyway, yeah. So first, I'm going to show you how to make the mold. So, yeah. So what you're going to need to start off with is no. a knife for making the mould, a little screw so you can dig out the little channels, big blob of Play-Doh and a swim bait lure. Okay, right. so now I'm going to show you how to make the mould. So firstly, you're going to have to get the big blob of Play-Doh, yeah. smack it on the ground. Boy, be quiet, please. And then you're going to have to push it out. So you've got a flat surface to work on and just flip it over. Like that. Now what we need to do is get this fishing lure and we need to chop the head off about there to make the head of the squid. So just move this out of the way. So we need to cut it there. Like that. Mm -hmm. That'll be the head of the squid. I could have done it a bit bigger, but anyway, that'll have to do. Secondly, oh, oops, I just have to flatten this out again. Now I've got to push this, the soft plastic thing, into the Play Doh to create the head. Like that, and then get the knife, stab it in the back, and pull it out. And now we need to make the channel, so hold your knife like a pencil sort of thing, and then drag it through so we can make the tentacles. Like that. And That's then, like an octopus. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And then after that, just to clean out the channels, yeah. get the screw and go around, make all the edges nice and round, like that. And make sure the soft plastic resin can get through to all of the thingos. Like that. Okay. That's the basic mould. And then when we pour all that in there, it should flow into all these other channels, create tentacles. So now I'm going to show you what I'm using to melt and pour. So I've melted down some soft plastic, broken soft plastic fishing lures and molded them into little ingots. And then we'll use this to heat up in the microwave for about 1 minute and 10 seconds and then pour it into the thing. So let's go and do that now. So I'm just using a microwave safe cup to melt these in. And now all we're going to do is just stick this in the microwave for 1 minute and 10 seconds. Now if we open that up, it should be melted by now, so just pull it out, most of it's melted, so now we're going to pour it in, put the tea towel and hold this, no, wait, leave the camera there, so we're going to start by pouring into the head, And then going down the tentacles. It doesn't matter if you spill any, because you can clean it up with scissors later. There's some on the play though. So hopefully this squid will turn out to look pretty cool. Like that. 
and now we're just going to let that um, harden and then I'll be right to you. So it's been about two to five minutes and it's cooled down and hard now. So what I'm going to do now is just peel it out. So you want to start from the, or if you don't want to break the tentacles, you can start from the bits that you spilled and you just carefully pull them out first. Or you can just go straight to the head. Pull it out like that. Well, now we have a basic squid shape. Now we just got to clean up the edges with a pair of scissors. And this mold, if you don't bash it up too much, you can use it over and over again until it wears out. And if you stuff these soft plastics up, it doesn't really matter because you can just melt them down again over and over again. And that's what's left of the resin. So now I'm going to go and clean these up with scissors. And then I'll show you how to hook them. So we just want to trim up the um, bits that spilled over the mould. That. And then... Like that. Get so that hook. One. I'll get the hook. No, don't worry. That's looking pretty good now. So now we can put hooks in it. So the two hooks you're going to need, uh, I think that's about a 5 just normal hook. And then you're going to need about, I think that's a 6 wide gape hook. And then, first of all, you need to go, so put the wide gape through the tip of the squid's head and push it all the way through and then twist it back around and then we got to get the 5 hook, other hook and then we got to find where the eye meets the hook and put the barbs through it like that doesn't matter which way it goes at least it stays in so now we got to put the hook in so we'll just mark it there and then twist it around and push it through like that boom and there you go there's homemade soft plastic squid and hopefully this will catch a fish over and out and I'll see you next time mate